Hi, in this video we will talk about position vectors. We know that vectors in a 3D coordinate system have three components, a1, a2, a3, and that represents the amount of shift in x, y, and z direction. We also learned that in order to represent a vector and visualize it in a 3D coordinate system, we need to anchor it to some point and use a line segment and an arrowhead to represent the length and the direction of our vector. So for example, given a 3D coordinate system, this is the x direction, this is the y direction, and this is the z-direction. Each coordinate system has an origin point, and that point has coordinates 0, 0, 0. If we anchor any vector, v, to the origin of the coordinate system, that particular vector representation is called position vector. Let's take an example. Suppose we have a vector v equals 5, 2, 0. That means that I have a 5 unit shift in the x direction, 2 unit shift in the y direction, and a 0 unit shift in the z direction. Given my coordinate system, x, y, and z, Let's take a point in a space, and let's suppose A equals 4, 4, 0. And let's use A as an anchor for our vector V. Our vector representation will look like that. Anchor to point A, we shift 5 units in the x direction and 2 units in the y direction the tip of my vector representation anchored at point A lands at, let's call it, point B. In order to calculate the coordinates of point B, it turns out that I can add the coordinates of point A to the components of the vector to find the coordinates of point B. Let's do that. B equals 4 plus 5, 4 plus 2, 0 plus 0. B coordinates are 9, 6, 0. That is the tip point of my vector V represented with a line segment anchored at point A that has the coordinates 4, 4, 0. If I anchor my vector V to the origin, which has coordinates 0, 0, 0, as you know, the vector might look like that. This is the position vector of vector V. The tip point of that vector, let's call it B dash, can be calculated again by adding the coordinates of the origin to the components of my vector. So B will equal 0 plus 5, 5, 0 plus 2, that's 2, and 0 plus 0, 0. Notice that the coordinates of the two points are equal to the components of the vector. That is what makes position vector a special vector representation, is that the two point of the represented vector have coordinates that is equal to the components of the vector. Notice that B dash is not the same as V. B dash is a point, it's the tip point of the position vector V. And there is big difference between points and vectors, but sometimes they get confused. So let's take a moment to see the difference between vectors and points.